Hi there, this side Viren. Today we are trying to solve code force problem which is name as bros and it is specially from round 32 and made up for participation of div2 participants. So let us see what was the condition and scenario was given to us. So let us try to understand. So here basically it's given that we have to decode the decode the uh, statement of uh, the like in statement which is given in a dot and a slash so we have to decode in number like this here it is given that zero, zero represent the dot one hyphen and dot represent one and two hyphen represent two so let us try to capture what they want to say so let's see what the input format it is input contain one line that that is known as bronze code the length it between 1 to 200 characters means this uh, first input line contain maximum 200 characters so yeah this is the only rose code we have to uh, give in the input and output like we have to decode the the number so it can be leading zero it's also have leading zero so yeah this is the input and output format let us try to understand in notebook so as i said a uh, dot this dot represent this zero this one iphone and dot represent one and two iphone and two iphone only represent two so this is one test case i taken here so basically we approach like this we just uh, go from first to last character like brute force approach and we are trying to search that firstly firstly you can notice one thing if it's dot then we just simply uh, replace dot with uh, zero because there is no combination of dot with anything any hyphen and if we get hyphen in between so we check the next character which is dot or a hyphen if it's dots then we go for one and if it's hyphen then we go for two so this is the only brute force approach we are trying to use here so in this special case we are just start from this first character that is dot so we replace it with zero okay it's fine now we move ahead and we see this is hyphen again came so we check with the if condition that is dot or hyphen it is the next element of this hyphen so we found that this contain dot so we replace this with one and we move two step ahead now one and two and again we are getting one hyphen so we again check the next element is dot or a hyphen it's a hyphen so we replace this with two and the same way we replace this with we getting dot so we are not able to check the next element because we are sure that if it's dot then it is obviously zero and this last will be two so our answer is zero one two zero two so we simply print this similarly i take uh, another example so for better understanding so yes yeah, same approach we are using we start from first character itself and we found iphone so we check second one also it is also iphone so we replace it with two the same way we replace this dot with zero because there is no more con uh, combination of dot with anything again we finding iphone so we check the next one which is dot so we replace this with one and uh, yeah this is zero so same way the answer of this second test case is 2010 the similarly i take third case also uh, here is also now we you got the concept how i am solving this so we replace this with one dot came so we can't check the next character we simply replace with zero now we we see these two character again this is one and yeah this is two so answer of the this third case is also 1012 so yeah this is the simple approach i use for this question let us try to see how how to implement in code so you are able to see that i got accepted in one attempt only so it was not that much difficult question so yeah has the input say that first line contains string and we take we initialize string as s and take input from the user as s and yeah you notice one thing i take one another string that is new string the name uh, if you if you're doing regular coding and this also you will get this from the quotient itself because in answer you will see let me see the answer 
what was the answer of this test cases if you see answer there is no gap between uh, two characters so it is it is uh, suggesting us to take string so yeah this is also one point to grab the grab the loophole of this question so yeah we take the string has storing our output so simply i said we check uh, from first to last element so i run this for loop for checking checking the first to last for traversing to first to last i take s dot size so whatever size string contain it will go till that size so yeah first we check the yeah the, this is the main uh, this is the main concept of this question this if condition only so yeah if we has i has a has we discuss in a test cases that if it is hyphen then we check the next one so firstly we are taking that considering that if it is hyphen then we again go inside this if loop if statement and we check the next character of the previous one and if it's again hyphen then we add to here you see the plus sign we add to to the null string because it's it's we are not uh, giving any output so it's null so yeah we add this to and we increase one time i here and automatically i was also increasing side by side here so basically we include uh, increase this i two times and yeah we continue next with this continue will go uh, skip this if loop and go ahead and yeah this is the same thing i do if it's hyphen there is two combination that is two and one so again i use this if condition here for checking dot if the next character is dot so we add one and move increase the i one time and increase i one time here so we basically increase i two time and we skip this two of this two code and we move ahead and if we get dot so we simply add zero in our string so yeah this is the simple logic and we simply print this string at last so basically we did in this question that if we get hyphen so we check the next character which is again hyphen so we add two to the our null string and we continue our set. and if it's dot the next character is dot so we add one to our null string and we increase i and continue and if we get simple dot so we just add zero to our string and continue so after running this all we decode our our code and we print simply our answer so you are able to see that i got accepted label and it will pass each and every test cases so yeah this is the basic simple logic we are using so thank you for watching if you have any doubt related to this question you are freely share your questions in a comment box thank you so much